Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. It's a delight to be here with you. Today I'm going to be talking about exfoliation and how to exfoliate properly. Please give this video a thumbs up and you know how the deal goes. If you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscription button. Then go ahead and touch the notification bell so that you can always get alerted whenever I upload a new video. So today I will be telling you about exfoliation. What is exfoliating and how do, are you supposed to exfoliate? You know, I found out something trendy with young people. Is that a lot of people, young people, would I say young people? A lot of people, yes, young people generally do not exfoliate their body properly and they wonder why their bodies don't shine and their skins don't glow. A skin that is dull, that has a lot of dead skin on the surface, will not glow, will not shine, will not reflect light. You will not feel youthful or beautiful. So what is exfoliating? Exfoliating is the act of scrubbing your, your skin to remove the dead layers of skin from the surface, revealing a new one. So it's not enough to just use water or soap alone to rub your body. If you use only soap to rub your body, you are not bathing. You are soaking your skin and leaving the dead skin on top it won't come off the dead layers will wash off even if it washes off your skin will not regenerate new cells properly and your skin will look dark and tarnished so how do you exfoliate i'm going to show you some things and i got them just for you these are sponges and you're supposed to use sponges to scrub your body I found out young ladies prefer to wear gloves and rub their bodies. That does not work. It doesn't exfoliate your skin well. This is not my favorite sponge in the world. I have used it before as a young person. Well, I have used it often and again, it's like a travel thing for me. But I got this one for the purpose of this video. That, now, this sponge, which a lot of you like to use, really does not exfoliate very well. And as a Nigerian person, this is what we call sponge. This is a sponge. And then there's the local sponge, the native sponge. I couldn't find that anywhere. But you see this one, you may call it a net. Net, yes, but it has the capacity to scrub your skin very well and help to remove that dead layer of skin that is on the surface and leave your skin shining without you doing too much of rubbing anything. So this is a Nigerian sponge you will find in all Nigerian markets. Is it a good buy? In my opinion, it is, because it does the needful. One, before you use, you just don't take and use. You apply either your liquid soap or your, you take your soap bar, dip in water and scrub on, and rub on it very well. Then you proceed to scrubbing your skin thoroughly in circular motions. In circular motions, you scrub your body in circular motions. Have you ever wondered why our mothers used to wash our bodies in circular motion? It's because they knew that to truly exfoliate skin, you've got to go over it like that. That's how you exfoliate and wash your skin so that the dead skin comes off. Just like this is not good enough, you are going in one direction only. But when you go in circular motions, you are helping the skin you know, you are exercising your skin, it will help it be firm. Then it will also lift off dead layers from the surface. Then you rinse your, your, so, your, your soap, your sponge, free of, of soap scum, and then you spread it out to dry. Whichever sponge you use for your body, it's important for you to allow your sponges to dry. Otherwise, they become slimy. And then when you use it on your body, your body will not feel clean. Instead, it's, your body will start itching. Okay? So when you use your sponges, allow them to drip dry. When they drip dry, you can use them again. That is how you exfoliate your body. Is this a good soap, a sponge? It's not bad, but it's not my best. My best sponge is this. Then to exfoliate your face. I know that a lot of young people prefer to use them. Um, um, hands, sorry, please. Um, hands, you know, to wash their face, and it's good to use your hands because the parts of your hands are actually very gentle and good enough for washing your 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 face. But you can also use towels for your face. I have face towels that I use, and this is the brand of the towels that I use for my face. And how do I do that? I take 
my washing soap actually i just got this i just got this i am stepping up my game of of skincare so i got myself this set of you and i know that i'm going to love it i will let you know how we do so what i do is that i pump my soap into my hands and work it into my face work it into ladder into my face and wash with my hands very well then i go in with my face towel this is a gentle face towel this is slightly rough okay so i go in gently the face does not require too much scrubbing lest you burn you bru you bruise your your face so you gently rub gently in circular motions rub and rub and rub and rub all corners of your face that's how you use the towel gently some you can even take just like that over your hand and scrub and scrub and scrub using towels for your face i actually prefer to use my face brush you've seen this before on this channel this is my face brush what i do is that i either put the soap here or i put the soap on my hands and i rub it on my face thoroughly rub that and work it work it work it work it work it into my face i actually do about two or three minutes washing my face when i have washed with my hands thoroughly i rinse out then i pump some into my brush and then i go ahead and scrub and scrub and scrub this part of it has brittles and it's not bad it's soft enough for the face this is a silicone end it's a silicone brush and it's quite good it's soft and gentle and it really goes in you know scrubbing my face so these are the materials i use in washing my face i either use a face towel or a sponge or my hands to scrub my face thoroughly sometimes i feel that my face needs a little bit more and if you're like that, it's not a bad thing. Just be gentle. You can put, after scrubbing your face, rubbing your face with soap, you can go ahead and fold up your sponge like that. If you do not have a face to wear or a brush, and then you go on gently, you know, gently going over your face like that, very gently, very lightly, exfoliating your face like that. Exfoliating the body is not complete without sponge. No, 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 no. You cannot continually have your bath and you say you're exfoliating and you are using uh, just a soap. It will not work. Your skin will not shine. Your skin will not glow. If you have a face scrub, face scrubs are good and everything has its place so you use your face scrub that scrub really does scrub the face and that does a good job if you're going to use a body scrub which i advise you to use every so often because of the benefits that it gives the skin you use that to scrub your body thoroughly but the sponges they have their places in your exfoliating routine in fact i use sponge on my body daily I cannot have my bath without sponging my body. I sponge twice a day because of the environment that I live in. It is dusty, you know, and so dust will settle. It's a natural thing. Even if you lock all your windows, dust will find a way of getting into the room. So if dust can get into the room, then imagine your skin. So hence, it is important for you to properly exfoliate your body. Thank you for watching this. I will see you again in another one. Until then, keep looking beautiful. Bye-bye.